Uh, yeah, look, how everything shakes out in Iowa combined with other early states like New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Nevada will likely play a key role in who sticks in the race by the time Republicans here vote. People are really looking forward to the Iowa caucus to see what happens there tonight. The polling average by 538 shows former President Donald Trump holds a commanding lead in the Hawkeye state, with a battle for second potentially drawing the most attention. We do have the potential for Iowa um, being the one that kind of calls the herd a little bit. Uh, that's kind of its traditional role uh, going into the primary in New Hampshire. A strong showing for Governor Ron DeSantis, former Governor Nikki Haley, or Vivek Ramaswamy could provide much needed momentum moving forward and potentially a larger platform to pitch their message, which voters in the triangle are paying close attention to. I know that the voters are concerned about the border, about inflation, um, cost of goods and interest rates going up. It's hard to buy a house. It's hard to, hard to go to college. North Carolina's primary is on March 5th, part of Super Tuesday. Dr. Andy Jackson, director of the Civitas Center for Public Integrity at the John Locke Foundation, says Trump's previous electoral success looms large ahead of the state's primary. Unless you know, either DeSantis or Haley have some major breakthroughs. Um, I think it's going to be really difficult for either of them to overcome Trump's advantage here in North Carolina. The big question, will concerns about Trump's electability in a general race sway voters in primaries? This is the Bible Belt, and we do kind of fall back on our genteelism of Southerners. And I know that that has offended a few people, but I think that all in all, I, I still think the, the diehard supporters for President Trump will come through. Look, uh, historically, Iowa has not been the best indicator of who the GOP nominee will be. The last Republican candidate who is not seeking re-election that won Iowa and the party's nomination was George W. Bush back in 2000. Lauren and Steve, we are going to have a full breakdown of those results coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. Still fascinating to watch the process play out. Though. Yeah, the caucuses are, are really fascinating. That conversation yeah. in a room determining who's getting the individual votes. Yeah, we'll be tracking it through the evening.